A new consumer survey has found that 80% of the British public considers secondary ticketing to be a rip-off. The report was commissioned by anti-touting pressure group Fanfare Alliance, with support from UK companies C-Tickets, The Ticket Factory and Twickets, and conducted by audience net music Ollie Show. It found that fans purchasing above face value tickets on secondary platforms are far less likely to spend money on other live events, on avenue purchases and on recorded music. The UK's ticket resale market has been valued at £1 billion per annum, of which £500 million can be attributed to music events. The debate around online ticket touting raises strong passions, so it's important that the wider music business, politicians and regulators can get a sense of what the general public think, said Fanfare Alliance campaign manager Adam Webb. The message from this research appears to be pretty clear UK audiences are fed up. The model of secondary ticketing promoted by Viagogo, StubHub, Get Me In and Seatwave is causing them very real concern albeit, they are not against the concept of ticket resale. The majority would like the option to resell a ticket for the price they paid for it, and they're in favor of measures to curb mass-scale online ticket touting. On that front, Fanfare urges legislators and regulators to accelerate their endeavors to tackle the most egregious practices of the secondary market. More positively, an increasing number of UK ticket companies are now offering face value resale services, and it's becoming common practice for artists to implement anti touting strategies. This is hugely encouraging, although there remains a deep rooted resistance from some parts of the live business that needs to be overcome. For while the status quo might bring short-term gains to certain companies, there is a real danger that their intransigence will cause considerable long-term damage not only to the live music sector, but across the music business overall. Evidence collected by Fanfare suggests that the vast majority of secondary ticket listings at high-demand music events are made by professional third-party trader as opposed to genuine fans. Other key research findings included that 52% of respondents said it was difficult to distinguish between authorized primary ticket sellers and unauthorized secondary site, 43% of respondents said Google was their first port of call to search for tickets, 58% of respondents said they supported the concept of face value resale and 82% of respondents said that secondary platforms should be more transparent and show more detail about the identity of those reselling tickets. The vast majority of respondents support precautionary measures to prevent ticket touting, including the provision of authorized resale services 87%, limiting ticket purchases 80%, and personalized tickets with ID checks 75%. Rob Wilmshurst, CEO of C-Tickets, said touts aren't just responsible for massively inflating prices, they are also as the research shows chipping away at the public's confidence in the live music industry. Buying a ticket for an act you really want to see should be exciting but touts are turning this into a fraud, overpriced and desperate experience for a lot of people. We firmly back any action to combat touting and have made our stance on this very clear by offering customers of ctickets.com the use of an ethical resale site where tickets can only be resold at the price customers paid or less with commissions below everyone else's. Phil Mead, MD of the Ticket Factory, said the faceless secondary market in its current form is harming the UK's creative economy by diverting revenue from the live events industry at large. The effects of this largely unregulated market are felt across every level of the industry. It's not just affecting artists, agents and promoters but is also increasingly tarnishing the reputation of venues that have to deal with distraught customers who can't gain access to a gigger performance, while the fans are the immediate victims. Not taking action today will damage the industry irreparably in years to come. By supporting this report, we hope to play a part in the education of consumers and ticket buyers who ultimately have the power to starve the secondary market. Richard Davies, CEO of Face Value Resale site Twickets, said we're really happy to support this survey from Fanfare. For too long, fans have been faced with a confusing and often deceiving secondary marketplace. We're obviously very aware of the acute need for face value ticket resale and it's great to see extensive research now to back it up. The live music business is an incredibly important part of the music industry as a whole, and a significant revenue generator to our wider economy, and we call upon the government to protect its future, before it's too late. We hope that this survey is a step towards putting an end to resale for profit. In April 2017, government passed new legislation to criminalize the mass online harvesting of tickets by touts, as well as new measures to bolster existing UK consumer law and provide enforcement resources for national trading standards. A Competition Markets Authority enforcement investigation into online secondary ticketing, announced in December 2016, remains ongoing.